Scorpios, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well today. Okay, Scorpios, we have Kairos in the empty room, the mentor and the eternal child, the gem and the offering. <sighs> Scorpios, I mean, there's definitely some hermit energy here, just pulling away, like ste stepping back and just like watching. Um, I feel like there's like this idea of like dominoes, right? And the dominoes are falling and you're just waiting to see what pattern they fall out into. Um, I think that there's an idea of really hoping for, you know, like this, um, like in spite of the chaos, like this, this creation of something valuable, um, because I think that there's a part of you and, and Scorps, you can be on either side of the story, but there's, but I mean, I feel like this is almost like a, like a duality of an energy, right? Like there's a part of you that's hopeful and, and, you know, wanting for, you know, something great to happen. And there's a part of you that feels like you just need somebody to like t tell you where to go, like tell you which way to go. Um, you know, again, Scorps, you can be on either side of this energy. You could be somebody who's like, who's who's offering guidance to somebody who just really, you know, like they want to do well, they want to, you know, like they have this desire, um, but they just need a little bit of help. Just depends on my Scorpios, but um, either way, I feel like there's this need to pull away, there's this need to reflect, there's this desire for, for growth and, you know, like and a need for assistance along the way. Um, and then, you know, somebody offering that, that, assistance is what I want to say. I mean, the gem is the idea of value and undergoing a, a great deal of, of stress, pain, all of the things, you know, like Scorpios, you guys are, are the sign of transformation, you know, like death and transformation and rebirth. And so you guys just like, you guys come in with some, some shit that you got to deal with. Um, But yeah, Scorpio. So let's get some clarifiers, see what else we can get here. Well, this is kind of being swept up in something. Um, not talking. <laughs> the two of wands. Oops. The three of cups. The lovers. The king of cups. The world. The ace of swords and the high priest as well. Um, I feel like the idea here is being swept up in an end that brings with it like a new level of truth, you know, like this cycle that's ending again, like those dominoes that are falling and like seeing what pattern like comes about, um, you know, and kind of being swept up and, and I almost feel like this pattern that reveals itself, I don't know why dominoes, but the pattern that reveals itself, um, offers you an insight and a new truth, um, that I think gives you cause for celebration, makes you really, like, makes you feel very protective, um, you know, because when we've gone through a lot of shit and we finally get that thing that, like, we, we wanted, that we prayed for, that we, you know, we're trying to manifest, we are hella protective of it, you know what I mean? Um, and, and I feel like there's just this idea here of, like, a, a level of elevation, like, be becoming extremely elevated. Um, so whatever this offer is, Scorpios, I feel like it's a big movement forward. It's something that you're really excited about. It's something that you're very passionate about, um, you know, and it's something that really, like you feel protective of it. Um, you know, like you want to take care of it because you've been in that state of like pulling back and watching as everything falls down around you. <laughs> Ace 
Ace of Swords again. Yeah, whatever this is, it's definitely a new truth for you, Scorps. Um, I, I almost feel like it's something that you hadn't even really thought of. But when it presents itself to you, it's like, <sighs> I can breathe, I can go. You know what I mean? Like, there's just this sense of like, okay, and now, you know, like now that everything has fallen, now that we have some bearings and some direction, and you know what I mean? It's just kind of like this, I feel like a, like a breath of fresh air <laughs> and a sense of direction. King of Swords, King of Cups, the Star, the Five of Cups, the Two of Wands, and the Three of Swords. Yeah, I mean, again, it's just this idea of there being a lot of lack, feeling like, you know, like nothing's working out for you, feeling like you really need to pull away. You're just not sure where everything is, what, how everything is going to play out, um, you know, and, and I, again, I feel like there's an opportunity for you to really go. I mean, the Two of Wands is, is heading in a new direction. Um, and I feel like whatever this new direction is for you, it's a direction that brings with a lot of healing, you know, a lot of understanding. I mean, the King of Cups in this particular deck is very, like, emotionally detached. Um, you know, like, they sit on their thrones, but they're detached from it all. Um, but you have the King of Cups twice, um, the King of Swords, the Emperor, whatever it is, I feel like there's a lot of... Maybe you didn't have the Emperor. I thought you did. Just kidding. Um, but there's a lot of dis decision making. There's a lot of like sound. Like this is this is what I want. This is this is the direction that I've been needing to go in that I just didn't know. And sometimes I feel like um, sometimes I feel like when we don't know which way to go and we ask the universe to show us, it's the most painful thing on the face of the planet because um, you know like. <sighs> Like, I don't always think that it's a gentle process, you know what I mean? And it's like like the discovery process um, because we tend to really hold on to things and cling to things. And Scorpios, I get it, you know, like fixed sign, I've got like 90% fixed energy and so it's hard for me to release. And so when I think that like when I'm trying to manifest things into my life, sometimes the universe is like, okay, well, you know, like this is going to hurt, hang on tight. Um, and I feel like that's kind of where we've been of like, okay, hang on tight. I'm going to get you what it is that I know that you want and what it is that I know that you need, but we're going to have to release a whole lot of things in order to get there. Um, and Scorpios, I feel like that's just where you've been a whole lot of release. But on the other side of that is a lot of sound decisions, a lot of great opportunities and a lot of things that you needed that you didn't even like, like maybe you didn't want to ask for help. Maybe you, you were like, no, I've got this. Um, you know, and, and it was like, you know, the universe, the people in your life, however that plays out for you, we're like, no, you don't have this, but here, let me show you how we can, how we can adjust this. Um, you know, now that everything has fallen, um, into place, um, now we can have kind of like a, a forward momentum. Um, I love that Scorps, <sighs> some positive things on the horizon, right? <laughs> All right, let's see what else we can get for y'all. Gnosis. You know, I feel like this has been in your read before of just kind of this idea, like if, if I had to go through all that to get to this, then okay. And again, it's this idea of cyclical learning and going through the process and, and having an understanding, um, you know, of like, okay, well, the, like the dominoes needed to fall and I was working really hard not to let them fall. And then they all fell. But then once they fell, they created this pattern that really illuminated to me, you know, like what it is that I like what that next step is you know it's almost like it laid out a map for you you know when the dominoes fell and you were like oh wow now I can see things very differently um I don't know Scorps I hope this resonates with y'all thank you so much for spending some time with me please give me a like share and subscribe if this does resonate and I will see y'all again soon bye